This video will show how to operate the pedelec bike. First, you need to turn on the bike. Wait a few seconds, so it turns up. Then uh, here you can see the battery voltage and uh, the remaining uh, charge, motor temperature, speed and amps. Uh, on this side you will notice there is a right mode selector switch. On the smaller square you have only uh, pedal assist function, so no twist throttle. In this medium stage you will have both twist throttle and also the pedal assist function. Uh, on the bigger, the biggest uh, square you will have only uh, twist throttle available. Okay, when you turn on the bike, the the bike is not active yet. So, if you twist the throttle or uh, twist the uh, turn the pedals, the motor will not spin. So first, you need to push on plus. So if I push plus, you will see the increase of throttle out limit. So 80%, 100%. If I push minus, it will decrease. The step is 20%, so 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100. So if I put it on 100%, it will be maximum power available. So when it's on the bigger square, so higher setup, only twist throttle will work. The pedals will not work. So the motor will not be activated by turning the pedals. If I put on the smaller square, only the pedal assist function is available. And there is also a speed limit, 25 kilometers per hour. So, if I now twist the throttle, the throttle does not work in this setup. So, but if I turn the pedals, the pedal assist function now helps turn the motor. If I stop pedaling, the motor assistance stops. So, you simply select also the gearing. So, if you go uphill, you just put on the bigger, bigger uh, rear chain wheel. If I go uh, on the straight, I put on the smaller one. So, it's quite obvious like on the regular bicycle. Okay, so if I put on the medium selection, then it's both, it's twist throttle, it works twist throttle and also the pedal assist. So the sensor is here and it picks up the rotation of the cranks. So when you pedal, you twist, uh, you, you activate the sensor and the motor turns on. Okay, there are also two uh, important safety features. There are switches inside the brakes, here and here. So, if the motor is uh, turning and you are pedaling and you, ex uh, and you want to brake, at this moment the brake disengages the motor. So, it's a um, it's safe, safety feature, um, so the motor stops turning when you brake. So, I think this, this is mainly all uh, what you need to know about how to operate the Q76P bike. One advice, when you are riding on the pedal assist only, I suggest that you choose the lower value, like 60 or 80%, because at 100% the assistance is quite quite big, so the motor power uh, is, uh, the, is more aggressive, you know? The, so at the beginning, before you get used to the bike, I suggest you use the lower values, like 60, or 80 maximum. On the display you will notice also the bar graphs here. So when you press the brake you will notice the icon is moving like a handbrake. So in this case when it's on the motor will not turn. Also the second on the left or the first on the left is a throttle signal. So when you twist when you twist the throttle 
you will notice the bar graph is lifting and the icon besides it indicates the pedal assistance so the faster you spin the pedals the higher will go